This is an RC View training updated June 6, 2016 for setting up your account. These are the high level steps that we'll talk through that I will demo within the RC View system. The two things you have to ensure are that you are set up in Volunteer Connection and that you are set up in RC View. With Volunteer Connection, first, you must have a Volunteer Connection account. You must also have an associated division, region, or chapter. You must also ensure you have a position within Disaster Cycle Services under the Humanitarian Services umbrella. Within RC View, you have to do three things. The first is actually a passive thing. Someone must assign you the proper role. The roles that we will have in Release 1 will be Dispatcher or Dispatch Leadership, Duty Officer, Regional Leadership, Divisional Leadership, or National Leadership. You will be one of those roles. Secondly, your settings have to be configured. Time zone, how you want to view, time date, stamps, etc. The third is you have to choose and select your DAT communication preferences. Let's take a look. First, I will log into RC View. Select the DAT tile. I go up under Settings, Preferences. The language automatically defaults to American English. Countries, System Default, United States. I need to select Time Zone. The way you select your Time Zone is you type US forward slash and you pick from one of the available Time Zones. You'll notice there's a couple more than we need here, but you're really looking for Eastern, Central, Mountain, Pacific, or anything further West. I will select Eastern. Second, I need to pick the appropriate date and time format. So you'll see here this would be June 6, 2016, 6, 11 p.m. as it is Eastern Time. I can go in and check a whole different number of date and time formats. And independently I have date format and I have a time format. So pick the three that make the most sense to you. When you're done, click Save. The second thing you need to do once in RC View is you need to go over to your Contacts tab. So depending on your role in your dashboard, your Contacts tab may be in a different place. But I'll go, for example, as a duty officer to the Contacts tab, My Contact Details. I will click Edit. Here, you'll see I can't touch my email or my phone numbers. You do need to ensure here that the information you see is accurate. This is pulling information from Volunteer Connection. If something is inaccurate, you must update it. Whether it's an email or a phone number, you must update it in Volunteer Connection. If your work phone is incorrect, fix it in Volunteer Connection. Within 24 hours, it will update in RC View. Several things to remember here. When you're being notified, for DAT notification, preferred contact method, text, voice, call, or email, you will receive communication over one, two, or three of those communication channels. In order to receive a text message, this field here must be completed. So your SMS text number must have a number, hopefully that's your cell phone, and I would receive a text message here. If that's blank, I will not receive any text messages. With respect to voice, any number here, home, work, cell, alternate, or even SMS, if it's populated, it will receive a phone call. If you have the same number filled in twice, for example, if my work phone and cell phone were the same, I would only receive one call over that number. However, I will receive a call across every unique phone number that's listed. For email, any and all emails that I have listed in the email primary or secondary fields will be emailed if I receive a DAT notification. If I want to only receive voice and email, then I would uncheck a box. If I only wanted to get voice, I would continue unchecking boxes. If I wanted to add fields in, I would click Add, and I would check the boxes. This is all you have to do. You may ask, why is it just Monday, Friday, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m.? 
That is an advanced capability we might have in later releases, but as of right now, this applies 24-7, 365. So this is how you set your contact preferred methods within your contact details page within RC View. When I'm done, I click OK. Once I'm done, the system will save and my contact details are updated. As you see here in the steps, we went through volunteer connection and RC view components. Fairly straightforward and simple, but you do need to ensure that all of those steps are completed. Thank you for attending this training.